If you haven't heard about model Winnie Harlow, you're definitely missing out. While she made her trademark in the industry thanks to her uniquely stunning look, her inspiring story began long before she ever graced our screens on America's Next Top Model, covered Vogue, or landed the Victoria's Secret fashion show. This is the untold truth of Winnie Harlow. Although Harlow is now a world-famous model, she was severely bullied because of her vitiligo when she was younger. She claimed it even drove her to drop out of school to start homeschooling instead. But despite the challenges, she always knew who she was. She told the Daily Front Row, People dig so deep into the fact that I was bullied and this whole story of me being an ugly duckling. No, I actually was never an ugly duckling. I was always a swan. I was just told not to see that. My family never treated me like anything was different. It was more so when I started going to school and I was told that I was different and I was teased because, because I was different. Harlow can now offer wisdom to those who don't quite understand her perspective on her past. She added, The issue was me being bullied, not me having vitiligo. It's odd to me that people didn't understand how rude it is to define me by my skin. With Harlow's innate natural beauty combined with her top model bod, you'd think she would have considered modeling right out of the gate. But believe it or not, Harlow originally had different plans in mind. She told the Daily Front Row, When I was a child, my first career goal was to be a ballerina. I used to take ballet until I pulled my groin, twice, the first time I recovered. But when I did it again, that was the end of that. She then looked to entertainment journalism, but after giving it a whirl on the red carpet for the VMAs, she quickly realized she wasn't cut out for the job. She revealed to the outlet, being on the red carpet was too much adrenaline for me. Entertainment journalism is not something I want to pursue anymore, but I'm so grateful I got to live out a dream. Thankfully, an encounter with a photographer put her on the path she was ultimately meant to take. She told CNN, To be completely honest, I never thought I could become a model growing up. I started pursuing modeling after I had an interview with a Toronto photographer, and she encouraged me to continue pushing. From there, I started to build myself up by leveraging social media. It was Harlow's social media savvy that landed her on season 21 of America's Next Top Model, thanks to fans tagging Tyra Banks in her photos. After that, Harlow was on her way to the top. I'm not brave, I'm confident. Getting the chance to appear on a show like America's Next Top Model is a goal for a lot of aspiring models, both because of the exposure it brings and because of the guidance it can provide those looking to break into the industry. And although many people first got to know Harlow from her appearance on the show, when she went by the name Chantelle Winnie, she says that's not what jump-started her career. You're like an X-Man. <laughs> but can you model? Let's see. Harlow told Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Live, so I really started after the show because that really didn't do anything for my career. Uh huh. Which it doesn't do anything for any model's career, realistically. For the record, Tyra didn't exactly take kindly to the comment, telling Andy Cohen that she was the one who discovered Winnie on Instagram. But even so, Harlow says it was her work with established photographers that gave her the chance to make it big. She revealed, a photographer from London hit me up, major photographer Nick Knight. And he was like, hey, I've seen your photos online and I want to do a shoot with you. It went viral and I got campaigns from there and it hasn't stopped since. You are beautiful. While Winnie Harlow is fast becoming a household name, she was born with the name Chantelle Brown Young. The Winnie part of her name is actually inspired by a children's book character and it evolved out of a joke among her friends. She told the Daily Front Row, we were on the phone with some boys, and the boys asked me, who is this? I looked over, my friend was wearing a Winnie the Pooh t-shirt, so I said my name was Winnie. I thought that was ever so nice. Harlow decided to keep the name when she became a model in order to keep her professional and personal lives separate. She said, when I started working, it felt kind of natural to just continue it. Harlow comes from Jean Harlow. I'm a really big Marilyn Monroe fan, but I didn't want to use Monroe because that felt cheesy. If you're familiar with the modeling industry or you've ever seen a fashion magazine in your life, you're probably aware that straight size models have to stay thin in order to work. But while Harlow is indeed super slim, she's not about missing out on the finer things in life, including actual food. So that's a wrap on breakfast. What should we do next? She told Elle, I literally love food. I went to Mykonos two weeks ago and looked at the menu and I was like, oh my gosh, a sea urchin. I've never had that before. Harlow even ordered the dish after her friends tried to stop her from doing so, proving she's game to try anything once. She added, I was like, bring it on. I tasted it and didn't like it, so I didn't finish it. But I tasted it. I will always try something. Anyone who's experienced bullying can tell you how traumatizing it is, but if there are any lasting scars for Harlow, she's not wasting her time dwelling on them. 
She told Grazia, Eventually, I learned that my opinion of myself matters so much more than anyone else's, and I wish I'd known it earlier. One day, I just didn't give a f anymore. I have to live my life with myself for the rest of my life. On top of that, Harlow has always known that there's so much more to who she is than her skin condition, and she's more than done educating people about it. This woman, one of her questions was, how do you feel beautiful? Harlow told the outlet, I am honestly so sick of talking about my skin, literally so sick of it. I hope one day I can just stop talking about it. People always try to put that, that pressure of being the superhero for kids with skin conditions. For as often as people have tapped Harlow for her so-called courageous story, telling her that she's a role model for everyone with vitiligo, that's just not a label that Harlow accepts. She revealed to Forbes, I don't believe in role models. I don't think anyone should be put on a pedestal or made to feel like someone you should emulate. You should want to be yourself. I see the little girl that I wish I could have yeah. been her oh, age. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Mm. Because the, the confidence I have now, I had none when I was her age. Harlow doesn't mind being an inspiration to people, but she's not here for the rest of it. Instead, she's focused on carving out her own place in the world and being deeply true to her authentic self. She said, I try not to compare myself to anyone else. It's inspiring to see my girls in my industry doing the things that they're doing. But I have my own path that I have to walk, and you just can't compare. Take my aspiration of being what I want to be and put that in your life to do what you actually really dream to do. As an internationally famous, highly successful model, Harlow gets to work with some of the best photographers in the business. So when she was approached by a photographer backstage during London Fashion Week, she was interested. She told Grazia in 2016, Two years ago, I did a runway for London Fashion Week. I was backstage afterwards, and this photographer was like, oh my god, I have the perfect picture I want to take of you. But this particular photographer turned out to be an unprofessional jerk who created an intolerable situation. She said of the shoot, He walked me over to this ironing board that had a cow print on it. I just looked at him like, you idiot. I turned and walked away without even giving him a response. I'm unique. I'm irreplaceable. Look at yourself. There's nobody like you. When it comes to the causes that Harlow is passionate about, there are several. But it's her passion for protecting bee populations that inspired her to partner with Burt's Bees to make a difference. She told Vogue, Even before I got involved with the Bring Back the Bees campaign, my mother was talking to me about how all the bees are disappearing. When I heard about the campaign, I knew it was definitely something that I want to be a part of. What can we do? But there's a hint of irony in the situation, since when Harlow was younger, she wasn't exactly gunning to be best friends with the species. She added, My sister jokes with me about it, though, because when I was young, I was so afraid of bees that I once ran away, fell over, and ended up scraping both of my knees. She finds it hilarious that I was running away from them as a child, and now I'm trying to save them as an adult. Throughout her life, Harlow has proven she's not afraid to shoot for the moon, and her top goal has been to walk in a very high-profile fashion show, arguably one of the most important in the business. She told Vanity Fair, Obviously, the top things for a model are Vogue covers, Victoria's Secret and such. So, I always wanted the best for myself. Obviously, Victoria's Secret is the best. I'm going to be the first model with Vitiligo walking for Victoria's Secret. When Harlow found out that she had been cast in the Victoria's Secret fashion show in 2018, she was overcome with emotion. She remembered that moment. I started crying. Literally, I immediately just dropped everything that was in my hand and started bawling. Here, you're chilling all day with your friends. You know, you get to chill, you get to vibe, eat some food, get your nails done. It's a little vibe back here. As for what Harlow currently has her eyes on now that she's more than exceeded her goals, she says, more magazine covers. You can never have enough, ever. With her incredible looks, successful career, and keen intellect, Harlow could pretty much have anyone she wants as a romantic partner. And from the looks of it, she got pretty cozy with rapper Wiz Khalifa on several occasions, as evidenced by a post on her Instagram in 2018. A few weeks after that, Winnie posted another snap of the two on Instagram, this time with the two looking snatched in Germany. That looked pretty Instagram official to us. Harlow and Khalifa also posed on the red carpet together at the 2018 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show after party, clearly not afraid to show a little PDA. It was unclear at the time whether or not they were serious or planning to take things to the next level, but according to E! News, they later split up in October 2019.
Although Harlow doesn't believe in role models, she definitely admires some of the stars she grew up watching and listening to. In particular, she's a huge fan of Nicki Minaj, and she has admittedly been in love with Minaj's music forever. Harlow told Vanity Fair, I've loved Nicki since I was 12 years old. I was introduced to her mixtapes when I was in middle school. That's been one of my favourite artists for the longest time. I always wanted to meet her. It turns out not only has Harlow since had the chance to meet Minaj, but now the two have developed a friendship. So when Minaj once had to cancel on Winnie last minute, she called Harlow right away, apologised, asking if she was annoyed with her. Harlow responded, I mean, I'm annoyed, but the fact that she called just blows that completely out of the water. Harlow went on to reveal that the two seemed to have kept up the long-earned friendship. She told the outlet, Since then, I've had not only a love for her, but such a respect for her. When it comes to beauty icons besides Marilyn Monroe and Jean Harlow, Harlow has been interested in the styling of another legend, actress, singer and ageless stunner Cher. Harlow revealed to Vogue, Recently, I've been loving Cher's old looks. I've been looking through a lot of them and just seeing how she used to experiment with her hair, her looks and her outfits. And all my clothes were fabulous and I loved them and I spent pretty much all my time naked. Harlow said she would jump at the opportunity to recreate one of Cher's iconic looks for a shoot. In particular, Harlow admires Cher for her willingness to step outside the box and take big risks with her fashion and style. Harlow added, In one photograph, she has this really epic outfit with her stomach out, and I just absolutely admire it. Sometimes it's hard to try new things, but she is living proof that you shouldn't be afraid to experiment with your style. Anyone in the world thinks of you is, should be way less important than how you feel about yourself. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.